I don't know where I'm going. There's nowhere to go. But me cute. <laughs> And if you're not, then welcome back. So I'm in this part of my room, so I already know what time it is. I'm about to do a haul. And, you know, I'm always talking about Princess of Thing, but I feel like I've never, you know, actually shown you guys that many stuff from Princess of Thing. Like, I show you guys after I wear them, like, pictures and stuff, because I've never done a haul before. And I feel like, you know, it's time to get with the hauls. So I have one, two big ass packages from Princess of Thing I have a few outfits because you guys know when I do my hauls I like to do like full outfits I don't really like to just show you guys the pieces because I feel like that's boring like I like to show you guys my looks so that's what I have planned for today so I'm going to show you guys I think about seven or eight outfits and probably twice as many pieces so if you're interested you know just keep watching so this dress isn't a part of the haul but it is from Princess of Thing so I feel like I should probably just mention that real quick. Um, I will leave the links to every piece in the description box along with the size because I don't think I will know it like off the top of my head. Um, this video is not sponsored or anything, at least not yet. Because that's the thing, if you're watching, you know, the email is in the description box. But yeah, I'm going to get started and show you guys these looks. But I do want to say, if you haven't already, then go ahead and click subscribe, turn on your post notification, give this video a thumbs up. I'm trying to hit 2,000 subscribers before the end of the year, guys. So please, help your girl out, share this video, and you know, let's let's do this. Alright guys, so this is a try-on haul. I will be trying on all of the um, items that I got, except for this one. Because it's just, it's way too tight on me. Like, I got a size 2, which is usually my size in dresses from Pretty Thing. But I think, because of the cost, I believe this was under $10. So because of the cost, like, I thought it would be, like, you know, really stretchy kind of flimsy material. So I didn't expect it to be this thick. And because it is this thick, it is tight. Honestly, I feel like this fits more like a size 0, um... Or if you're a size 2 without like boobs and I have a, I have a belly, I have a belly. So if you're a size 2 without boobs and a belly then I feel like it would be comfortable. But I just, I just, I don't feel like, you know, I should keep it. So I'm actually going to do a giveaway with this one. I will leave the like instructions or rules for entering the giveaway at the end of this video. So, you know, you gotta watch till the end if you want to win this. I... We'll leave all the um, details in the description box for, you know, the dress, but the rules will be at the end of the video. So yeah, this would be the first piece. It's like this leopard print dress with, um, like, the O-rings. And it also has, like, the cup details for the boobs, which again would work for me because I'm like, my boobs don't match my body. Like, my boobs are not size 2 boobs. But it's really, really cute, and I feel like leopard print, especially the browns, are really in. I have, like, other brown stuff because I know brown is, like, it's very on trend right now, so I wanted to get brown stuff, but it just, it's not, it's not my size, guys. So I'm going to do a giveaway with it, so watch till the end if you want to win this. Okay, guys, so this is the first outfit, um, first set of pieces that I got. The bodysuit actually isn't new, like, I've had this for probably, like, a year now. But the jeans are new, and the jeans are fire. So these are mom jeans, they're not boyfriend jeans and like I feel like I've always been like like you know like you like jeans but if you don't have like jeans body like I don't have like you know a really skinny waist and like big hips or like a badonka donk but I feel like the jeans give me a badonka donk like I feel like mom jeans are the wave now because they give girls with that don't have a badonka donk a badonka donk and um I really like this bodysuit with it because I love um what do you call this? I love racer back bodysuits on my my boobs because you know it's it's hard for me to find stuff that like flatter my body because as I said my boobs don't match my body at all. Guys, the jeans fit so good, like they fit so good, and I was so shook. I actually had to watch like five or so other videos of people buying mom jeans and also just buying regular jeans from Pretty Little Thing to figure out what size to get. I believe these are a size two. Um. I usually, I think, if I'm not sure about the fabric from Pretty Thing, I usually size, um, is this a size 2 or is this a size 4? It's in the description box, but I usually, like, I'm just afraid to buy, um, 
you know, stiffer fabrics from pencil to thing because if the fabric isn't forgiving, like it just isn't forgiving like at all. Like you're not going to fit into it. But these actually fit me really well and I love that they kind of give me, I don't know if it's showing on camera, it is, woo! I love that it gives me like more hips than I usually have and I feel like it like grabs my waist, like it really hugs my waist. It, I don't know how it gives me like a flattering booty. I really don't like. Like, I don't have that much back there, but I feel like it gives, it's like, it's working with what's there. I love the little rips, and then for the outfit, I'm just wearing my gray mules. I really love the wash on the jeans, like, I feel like it's almost kind of vintage and that's kind of cute with the mom jeans. If you don't have that much shape, I feel like mom jeans are really flattering on your body, and they're super trendy. So this is outfit number one. I really hope I'm not, like, playing myself, and I'm like, oh, look at my ass, it looks so good, and you're like, what ass? Like, I don't see anything. Are we, are we seeing anything? And then this entire look I think is just very like calm and casual. I love the muted tones together. I love how the grey works with the wash of the jeans. I like this outfit. I like this outfit and I really really love the jeans. So I have another like outfit with these jeans that I'm going to show you guys. Alright so this is the top that I originally got for these jeans. Like once I picked out the jeans I was like okay I need a top. Then this is the top that I originally got. I wanted something that was kind of like feminine because the jeans are not like fitted, they're not like sexy jeans or like traditionally sexy jeans so I wanted something that was like really feminine and like cute and like girly basically. So I got this top and it's like a zip up corset and I really 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 love the shape of it like I feel like if, if you have more hips than me if your waist is smaller than mine like this top would be like a slam dunk on you but it's not bad on me and i really like the neckline of it i love the little um what's this like a curved hem that it has like i love how curved hems look on jeans i feel like it's really cute and i love how structured it is i literally can't zip myself up in it by myself though like i have to get my mom to do it i believe it's a size four i usually get size four in tops from pretty to thing because of my boobs but I mean this fits like it's not uncomfortable once I get it on I just cannot like cannot put it on by myself and also like my boobs are like down here like then press right out like pancake but I don't feel like it shows like it looks fine and I feel like it's very pin up like it's like you know it's giving whatever that is is this a look guys I feel like this is a look I, I don't think I'm wrong correct me if I'm wrong but I feel like this is a look I didn't want to do white shoes didn't want to do black i just wanted to do clear like i couldn't think of like a color that would like go with the outfit you know so i feel like clear is always the safest option so my clear mules and boom like this is very easy and it's very cute i might actually take instagram pictures in this because i feel like this is really cute i really really like this top and i like it with the jeans i feel like this these jeans can go from like day to night real quick just like change your shirt change the shoes i'm pretty sure like if i wear with sneakers it would look like you know real cool it's giving cute guys it's giving cute and just like with the first one i got another pair of pants that so i want to try with this top so let's go do that okay so this is look number three same top and i switched the pants to these like leather split hem leggings obviously everybody have on these leggings me know okay but i swear like me swear me have their leggings there like first i listen my put on your phone. I've had these since the latest, like the first week of February. But then, like you know, the world stopped keep, and I couldn't go anywhere. And I don't feel like these are like casual pants. Like you know, see people wear them with sneakers, but like all of the outfits that I had for it, like I have a different top for it that I don't think I'm going to wear with it anymore. But like it was very club. It was very like night out, and I wasn't going out. And night stop keep, especially in Jamaica, so I wasn't going anywhere. So I just couldn't wear it and I've had it in my closet since February. So I decided to just like, you know, throw it in the hall. I don't know if I like this pants with it more or the jeans. Like, I feel like they're both very different. Like, I feel like the jeans are kind of daytime and this is more nighttime. Because like, why would you wear leather in the day in the sun? Jamaica? Mm -hmm. I feel like it also has like a different vibe than the jeans. If I saw me wearing this and I was a man, I would be like, oh, that girl like real high maintenance. 
Whereas if I saw a male with the jeans and this stuff, I'd be like, oh, you know, should I have medium maintenance, you know? Like, I feel like that's the vibe. I don't know if that makes sense. To accessorize, just because I don't have a lot of color in this haul, I grabbed this pink bag from LJ Boutique, and I always have some LJ accessories. I don't feel like I get as much, like, booty from these as the denim. Like, I feel like the denim gave me more support. Like, it was hair for the small booty movement. I don't feel... I feel like the leather is very... It's very showing, like, it, it just a show where you have, and if you don't have it, like, you're not gonna show it. But, you know, at the same time, because the top kind of, like, snatches my waist, like, it kind of gives me a little bit more shape than usual, like, you see? I feel like it's cute, it could work. I don't know where I'm going. There's nowhere to go, but me cute. So, okay, so this is look number, what, three? Yeah, that's look number three. Girls are just... Sitting. Okay, so I feel like this is my favorite outfit and this is very unexpected because I didn't think I would like this one this much But it's the same pants and this white square neck like bralette and this black boyfriend blazer Same heels and I'm wearing this bag from wood and water accessories that says rude girl There's something about this outfit that I really like <laughs> It's like giving me many things. It's like give me courtroom with the bob and the blazer. It's like give me London influencer in front of like that big white store. Like a bare London like UK influencer is in my expert page because I feel like black London influencers like they just always look good. Like they wig, sit on for their heads. They're just different like goals for real. It might be because of the blazer. Like I feel like I am very into blazers. And I didn't really know until I started doing hauls, but I really like blazers. I feel like they just, they just give like that strong like girl boss energy. And um, I actually had to get the blazer adjusted because it was, it looks like a coat basically. I'm pretty sure about it. In the smallest size because I knew it was a boyfriend blazer and like I wanted the length but I wanted it to be like tailored to me. So I had to get it adjusted because it was just like, it still doesn't even really fit like, you know, like it's not like, you know what, buttoned is giving business, it's giving business because you ain't seeing no belly, it's, it's giving business and then it's giving what, it's giving party, it's giving hot girl. I thought I wouldn't like this because I don't really like how the leggings fit me like in my midsection like I feel like the leggings like for some reason like it prints out more like like I don't have a problem with my like belly showing from this angle like usually my problem is when I'm like this it's like you know are you pregnant no the leggings I feel like maybe it's the leather it's almost like you know you can see you can see the belly from the front I don't like that. Pants don't really fit me that well, so it's like gapping in the front area right here. But I like this. It might also just be the colors. Like I think black and white is very like safe for me and it's very comfortable for me. So it might also just be the colors. But what do you guys think? I think this is my favorite so far, and I'm thinking like through the rest of the office that I have, I still feel like this is going to be my favorite. And like I was planning to take Instagram pictures in one of these. I was actually going to do it in the outfit before this because I thought that was like, you know, the cutest one, but something about this. I have a serious buzz, like electrocution and everything. Alright, so this was look number four. I think my favorite so far. I need to take selfies in this because it's very... Yo, that's so cute. Oh my god. I can't do anything with it because I need to wait till I post the video. Oh my god. Kind of winding down with the more like casual outfits as I usually do in my hauls. So I got this skirt because as I said I wanted some like brown stuff. So you know like when you go in like a store and you're in the line and then put all the like little knickknacks near the checkout line because they know so you're more likely to be like oh this is just three dollars I'm gonna just grab this. That's what happened with this skirt. I feel like this skirt was if not four dollars then six dollars. And I feel like it was a great buy. Like, I feel like normally when you buy, like, the cheaper stuff on Pretty Little Thing, you're kind of taking, like, a risk with the... I don't want to say the quality, but the fit of it. If the fabric is, like, kind of stretchy, then, you know, it won't fit right. It won't fit, like, if the fabric was thick. So, I think I got this in a size 4. I'm not 100% sure. But I think I got this in a size 4, which isn't my usual, like, bottom... Bottoms size. 
but it fits really good i was afraid that it would be like way too short and like really tight and uncomfortable but it's not and it feels like a jersey material and i usually don't wear like mini skirts with a crop top because i feel like if you're showing like your stomach then you don't need to be showing your legs like i feel like you know that's my general rule so i feel like this is cute i wear sneakers because i'm usually like if I'm going out like dressing up, I usually don't want to wear sandals. I really like the sporty kind of cute like going on an adventure type of look. I don't know what adventure I would get up to in the short skirt. But I, it doesn't ride up like I've been walking around in my room in it. And it doesn't like you know ride up like tight body con skirts usually do. And the fit on it is also really good like hugging what it's supposed to be hugging. I haven't spoken about the top even though I was wearing it in the last outfit but you guys know me and my square necklines like i feel like square necklines are always really really flattering on me the bag is again from LJ boutique the sunglasses are also from LJ and they are like a brown with gold i don't know what vibe i'm giving in this i'm really not know what my i don't know my wear any of these though to be honest like how my life i got right now i probably wear this like in the house i actually had originally planned to take instagram pictures in this one and another one out of the dressier fits but i don't know i don't know i don't know what to do now i need you guys to tell me like what are your top two favorite looks so i can post them on my instagram i don't remember what number we're on but let's call this five i think I feel like the true test of a bodycon is if you can like move around in it and it doesn't ride up to where like you keep on having to pull it up and I feel like I feel like this is passing the test like it's still down okay so this is I think one of like probably my go-to outfits like an oversized t-shirt shorts if i feel like it and just like if it's dressy then heels like my boots that i'm wearing now or sneakers if it's casual i've never bought from pretty little thing i don't think i've ever bought from any store online and not gotten like an oversized t-shirt i have like so many oversized t-shirts from pretty little thing so yeah this outfit is just pretty basic but i feel like it's easy like you can never lose with an oversized t-shirt and i feel like it's one of those outfits that like literally just works for anybody because you can get an oversized t-shirt up to like an extra large xxl or you can go into men's sizes and the men actually have like better graphics than we do i feel like the oversized t-shirt is always cute and easy sometimes like i'll belt mine but i didn't feel like belting this one i don't need to iron it but it's been in the bag since i got it so it's not one of those outfits that like you know show up your shape or anything unless like you're going to you know adjust it like you know get it like sucked in or something but i feel like that kind of defeat the purpose you know like not every outfit has to show up everything i feel like when you wear oversized t-shirts like you're less you're a little bit a little bit less likely to get harassed on the road so i really like that and then for accessories it's just this shoulder bag from LJ boutique again I feel like maybe I just like oversized outfits because I really like my legs so it's like you know I get to just have the legs show have the legs be like the center of attention and not be like in competition with anything else like my belly I always fold the sleeves on mine I feel like it adds just a little bit of polish because sometimes with the oversized t-shirts it can look like you're wearing an old t-shirt sometimes and that's what I don't like so I like when it looks a little bit more polished so yeah this was look number six plain oversized t-shirt black boots black bag nothing too crazy but still gets the job done still looking cute looking fly looking like you know i did it with ease you know the help like that i woke up like this makeup this is the i woke up like this outfit something else that i need you guys to do for me when you see me in these outfits in real life or on instagram i need not to act like and I never see them before. Like you know how you send your pictures to the group chat before you post them and then your friends still in the comments are going like they never see them. I need that energy from everybody that watched this video. Like if you follow my Instagram, if you see me in real life, I can like never see these clothes before. Like like not even a pop up attack them. Okay, oh, yeah, so this is the last outfit. Obviously the same shirt and the shorts would be the new like piece for this video but the, the shorts are not new like i've had these for a while now but they are from princess of things so i will leave the link in the description box as well as my size but i just want to show you guys like another way that i like to wear my oversized t-shirt so basically just like tucking in one side and letting the other side kind of it is kind of folded but like 
it's like out basically and i just really like that i feel like it looks like very effortless even though it does take like some effort to tuck it cute and i'm just wearing my vans because as i said i really like to wind down my hauls with like a more casual outfit because you know not everyone wears heels and stuff like that and to be honest i'm most likely to wear this outfit out of like all the others because i'm not going anywhere and this like i can wear this like you know running out on the road or like if i just see my friends or something like that okay so this is the last look for the haul guys that's it so um for the giveaway what rules do I want to do? Okay, so for this giveaway, I'm going to make it really, really easy. Like, nothing too technical. Just two things. One that I already mentioned. I need you guys to tell me your two favorite outfits because I want to post two pictures on my Instagram. So, tell me your two favorite outfits. And I also want you guys to either do like a screenshot or something of like this YouTube video and post it on your Instagram story and tag me. So like, you know, be like, I can't tell you guys what to say, to be honest. So whatever you want, hopefully something good, but tag me and you know, that's enough entry. That's enough to enter. It's December. It's a season of giving. So I'm probably going to do a lot more giveaways. So this is just like the one to start out. I know it's not like the best prize because like the... You know, if the dress doesn't fit you, then it wouldn't make sense that you get it. But I will be doing a lot more giveaways, so you guys can, you know, stay tuned to my channel for that. So for reference, again, this is the dress. I want to say it hits me about mid-thigh. And again, it's just really close on me, but it's nothing is wrong with it. It hasn't been worn, the tag is still on it, everything is good. It is a US size 2, UK size 6. So yeah. If you're interested, then just let me know what are your two favorite looks from this haul and post this video on your Instagram story and tag me. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it thus far, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys know I love my fashion videos, so I really enjoyed making this video for you guys. And I really enjoyed shopping. I'm pretty to thing. Can't lie. Again, if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and click subscribe. We're trying to hit 2k subscribers before the end of 2020. So help your girl out. Go ahead and click subscribe. Check out another video on my channel. And I'll see you guys in my next one.